Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. My name is Anna and today is my update for my Pandit palette, which is my Norvina palette by Anastasia Beverly Hills. This is a well-loved palette in my collection, so I have used it before I started working on it in this project. So my goal is to finish this whole palette in this year and now I'm just quickly going to show you what my palette was looking like in the last update. And then I'm going to show you what it's looking like today. So this is what my palette is looking like at the moment and I'm so happy with the progress. I think it's a bit more than I was expecting. So for example, Dreamer, I almost have finished it up and I really want to finish it until the next update. So I only have something left here in the bottom left and in the bottom right corner. The other thing that you can see, it's just that there's some, I don't know why, but it's a bit rust. I think in the pan so that's where why it's a bit darker there but I cannot get any product from that so I can only get the products from the two corners here in the bottom and then the next shade is summer it's this beautiful golden shade and I have really enjoyed using this one here I've used it a few times in my crease and then also my lower lash line that's what I like it the most for so it's good for that and I used it a few times then I really try to focus on Wild Child and I also think that I can finish it until the next update. It would be so, so great if I could do that. So I want to work on it more because I really would love to finish some shades until the next update. I feel like I need this little boost of motivation now because I have to say that I really didn't want to reach for it a lot in the last month. So my last update is i think two months ago so i worked on it now for two months and i really i don't know the first month was like more like the month before where i just use it every day so for my everyday makeup and then after a month or so i really wanted to reach for other palettes and i also have gotten some new palettes so i just i don't know i just didn't feel like working on this palette all the time so i just didn't want to play a lot with it so it was a bit more of a struggle in the last month i have to say i have reached a point where i'm kind of done with this palette but i want to keep going so i will try to kind of i don't know get some more motivation and get more inspired by this palette again maybe i'm going to watch some tutorials from other people here on youtube that's quite motivating i feel and yes i just have to dive back into it so then the next shade is Rose Gold. I still love this shade. It's one of my favorites in this palette. It has a very dark base, which I love. So I love it for deepening up my outer corner and also for applying it into my crease and all over the lid and also on the lower lash. And it's quite beautiful. So I really like this one. I think I did expand the pan a tiny bit, not too much, but I did use it a few times. Then Celestial, my goal was to hit side pan here and I could do that. I also like to use it in my crease all over the lid as a topper. I also like it on my outer corner because it also has a bit of a darker base but it's a bit more sheer. So I love layering Celestial on top of rose gold on my outer corner. It looks very, I don't know, grungy fairy wipes. It's what I get from this whole palette. So that's what it's giving me when I combine these two shades here. Then Dazzling is a beautiful coppery golden shade and I love it still on my lower lash line and also in my crease. So I did use it a few times but not as much as I did before. As mentioned before, I just didn't feel like reaching for this palette a ton. Then I was so surprised that I could expand my pen in drama. I wasn't really expecting it. I thought the drama would take me so much more time and work to kind of use up. So I feel like it's really perfect for deepening up the outer corner 
because it has this dark base and when I want to have a cool toned look I just use volatile in my crease and then drama on the outer corner and it looks almost like a dark gray on my outer corner so if you start buffing this shade out it gets really dark gray almost black and then when you buff it it gets a bit lighter so it gets to a dark gray and so it's very cool tone actually so it's working very good for my outer corner the only thing is that i feel like it has a lot of fallout still and oh, i hate that about this shade this shade would be so beautiful if it wouldn't have so much fallout also when i use it as an eyeliner it's the same thing i just have a lot of fallout with it and i don't like that but the shade is beautiful so i'm happy with the progress and i'm going to continue to work on it then base as you can see is this cream colored matte eyeshadow that i have almost used up i used it so so much to set my eyeshadow primer and then also to buff out other shades in this palette so it's a very versatile shade for me it's easy to use and it's easy to use up so hopefully i can maybe clear up this whole top corner there and then have only something in the bottom left that's my goal until the next update then so as you can see I have hit pan in it. I started using it more than before because before the last update I just tried to work on the other shades that would be a bit more difficult for me. So Soul is one of my favorite shades in this palette. I love it especially for deepening up the outer corner and it's again one of the shades that gives me a lot of grungy fairy wipes. So it is a bit darker than it appears in the pan on me especially because I'm so fair so I can really I don't know, it's more like a darker, mid-toned, bluish gray on me and I love this shade. So I'm excited to wear this one again in the next month. I stopped using it a few weeks ago, I don't know why, but I really want to use it more again because it's a beautiful, beautiful shade. Then incense, I have to say I started using it in my crease before that I only used it as a bronzer and I really do like it. It's a good base for basically every look that I could make. Although it's a bit more warm toned than I would prefer, but it's quite okay to layer it underneath other cool toned eyeshadows and then they don't pull too warm because of this shade. So it's totally okay for me for everyday looks. So it's a beautiful eyeshadow and I wanna hit pan in it until the next update. Then Love, I only used I think one or two times, didn't reach for it that much, but it's a beautiful eyeshadow and I still love it. So I really want to reach back into it in the next month. Then Volatile, I was also able to hit pan in it. I love this one for everyday looks. It's my go-to cool tone eyeshadow for work looks and other everyday looks. So I really enjoy this one. It's very easy to use for me. It's the perfect kind of mid-tone taupey gray color that I can use it as a one and done eyeshadow because it's deep enough for my outer corner but not too deep for my crease and then I can also buff it out with other shades in here like this one or this one to lighten it up a bit more so it's a beautiful eyeshadow I love this one then eccentric I have to say I really struggled with this one in the beginning but then in the last month or so I really started finding like a purpose for it so it's like incense i can just use it as the base of my look and then layer other things on top of it and then i can't really see the warm undertone of it anymore so if it's just in my crease and the rest on my lid is like volatile or drama or anything else that is cool toned then it didn't pull too warm so it's quite okay for me to use this one in my crease and then layer other shades on top of it. So I feel like I have quite a dip in this one here and also in this one here. So I hope that I will be able to hit pan in both of them in the next month. And then Passion was quite surprising for me to hit pan. I really wasn't expecting it. I just used it a few times from my outer corner and I love this eyeshadow. I feel like it could be a bit deeper than it is but... For me, for everyday looks, it's deep enough, so it's a beautiful burgundy shade and I was so surprised when I could hit pan in it. So that's why I only have this tiny baby pan in here and I really want to expand it until the next time. So that's where I'm at with my palette. I'm so happy with the progress. I really, I don't know, I wasn't expecting to have this much progress in the middle of the year because I started a bit later on. So. I feel like we're on a good way and I have to say I'm very optimistic to be able to finish this whole palette until the end of the year. So 
I hope that I get a bit more motivated in the next week. So I'm going to show you my next update in a month or so. And now I'm going to show you some looks that I've created with this palette. I have to say I basically used all the same shades. I feel like the looks look a bit repetitive because I just used a bunch of these shades in my crease, on my outer corner, just as the base of the look. And then usually I topped it off with a single eyeshadow from an indie brand, like you can see here. This is from Glam Shop, for example. And I just loved using this palette just as my base makeup and then pop some fun points of color or neutrals from indie brands on my lid and then I really felt like I could create different looks every time I used it. So I really enjoyed using this palette for like the base look and then pop something more fun on my lid or just, you know, create different color stories than you would if you just use this palette alone. So I really like it as the base of the look and then do something else and just, you know, have some more variety in my looks. So that's what I used it for and I loved all the looks that I created. So it's a fun palette and I still enjoy working on it. I just felt a bit, you know, a bit burnt out on this palette alone. So I'm really trying to get myself inspired again by this palette and by this color story. And I feel like now that I have had a bit of a break from this palette, I will be enjoying using it again. So I'm excited for the next update. I hope you are too. If you don't want to miss any updates from me and also my other project pants, please hit the subscribe button and I'm going to see you in my next video. Thank you all so, so much for watching. I wish you all a beautiful day.